everyone, it's Sunny. Um, this is going to be my tutorial for um, the Charlize Theron um, cover of W Magazine um, look. Um, if you, I'll put a link below to my um, Pinterest board where I collect makeup looks and um, go and check it out. I uh, can't for legal reasons put it here in the video. Anyways, um, so I recently watched her movie um, Young Adult. Um, I loved the movie, it was really funny. Um, however, <laughs> I was watching it kind of in an excited way because um, my friend Alice, who I was with in Amsterdam last weekend, she said, uh, she had said this maybe like two months ago. She said that, oh you Sammy, you really remind me of Charlize Theron in Young Adult. And I'm going, oh my God, that's such a compliment. I remind her of Charlize Theron, that's amazing. Um, however, after I watched the movie, I realized <laughs> It wasn't such a compliment. I mean, there's a scene where she's in just her pantyhose and these chicken fillets hanging off her. Um, not great uh, at all. She does say that actually she meant the poster, nothing else. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% convinced, Alice. Anyways, um, so there isn't a makeup look in that specific video, um, the movie that I wanted to do, but I love her look in the cover of the W magazine, so I decided to do that one instead. I also really want to do her makeup from um, Snow White, but I haven't seen the movie yet, and I feel like if you're doing movie makeup, you really should see the movie, not just do it with the poster. So, um, anyways, I guess, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So I did my foundation, I used my current favourite, um, Chanel's Vita Lumiere Aqua, and this is in a B30. I never remembered the Chanel numbering, it's not like as easy as some of the other ranges. Anyways, um, let's get started. The eye looks difficult and complex and it's actually really easy. So first I'm using an NYX pencil, um, this is in Pots and Pans, um, 603. Um, it's basically just a silver pencil. As normal, you don't need to use the same products as I'm using, just kind of, um, you know, similar. <laughs> and I'm just doing the moving part of my eyelid and then blending with my finger. I'm going all the way to the inner corner. Next, I'm gonna use my MAC Paint Pot in Constructivist, and it is a brown with a little bit of shimmer. It's a really warm brown. The reason why I'm using um, cream products first, and then um, I'm going to use shadow products, is when you lay your cream and um, powder, you get the intensity. So if I was straight just going to like a powder silvery, I wouldn't get it as intense as I would otherwise. And I'm using my, using my Bobbi Brown Eye Smudge Brush. Now this is super dense. It's it's kind of like a MAC pencil brush, but it's just a little bit larger. And I am going to draw a crease. I'm just kind of like patting the color on. And I'm going all the way, almost to the inner corner of the eye. And in the outer corner, I'm going to wing it out slightly, not too much though, and then connect it in. You have to work fast with this because it does dry quite quickly. So when you're looking straight, you can definitely see kind of like the brown, um, so it's um, a little bit above your natural crease. I'm then going to take my Naked 2 palette. I really love the combination of silver and warm brown, and the Naked palette pretty much is that. It's silver and brown, so we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to use a technique that's called um, foying. Now people have a lot of different ways of doing this. But essentially how I do it is I first use um, Color Drime, so I'm going to be using Pistol, which is a shimmery medium grey. And I'm going to put it over the silver pencil and I'm just patting it on with my MAC 239. I'm going all the way to the inner corner and I'm also going all the way to the brown. And you just kind of pat it on. 
This is like, I guess, a gun medal or something like that. Then I'm going to just keep using the same brush and I'm going to dip it in water. So I just have a glass and I'm dipping it in water and then I kind of get rid of some of the water on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to use Pistol and Verve together and I'm just going to get the shadow wet. So I'm using both sides of the brush and then starting kind of from, I guess, the middle, I'm just patting it on again. And this gives you a more kind of intense metallic finish. You just kind of pat. I'm then going to use the Verve on its own. So I wet the top parts of the shadow, so don't use that part. I'm just using it dry now and I've moved on to a slightly smaller brush. And that I'm going to put just in the inner corner for an intense highlight, intense silvery highlight. And I'm going to take Half Baked, which is a golden colour, and I'm just going to run it under my lash line. Um, because of the angle of her head, you don't see exactly what she is um, using, but it seems to be like a warm golden color so that's what I'm using. Not loads, just a little bit. Then there isn't a brown on that palette that is as warm as I would like for this look. Now if you just want to use this palette I would use Busted for this next um, step but I want to go really kind of warm 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 brown so I'm using NARS Surabaya and it has two gorgeous browns and I'm using, um, I'm actually going to use a mixture of the two and I'm using my MAC 217 and I'm just going to pat it on it. These are super super pigmented, it's like amazing colours, I this is one of my favourite um, NARS duos and I'm going to start just where the silver meets the constructivist and I'm just going to start blending over it so your idea is with this you're going to kind of blend the silver in and then also you're going to blend it onto um, your skin a bit more here in the top edge and depending on your eye shape I mean I'm going all the way to my eyebrow but uh, really depending on your own eyelid is that's kind of should determine how far up you go. And I'm also going to take this under. So just continue under. I'm gonna take it and maybe about a third of the way in, just with the same brush. And if you want to kind of like um to find the crease even a bit more, I'm going to take Blackout and then I'm going to use a Sigma brush. This is the um, eyeliner brush E05. I don't like this for lining. It's too round for me. I don't feel like I get enough control. But I do like it for kind of drawing more precise lines but that are obviously a little bit thicker than a liner. So I'm just going on top of my overly exaggerated crease and then I'm going to use the same MAC brush that we put the Surabaya down with and then you just blend that. Bobbi Brown gel eyeliner in black ink and a Sigma eyeliner brush and first I'm going to do a tight line both upper and lower lash line so just pull your lid slightly down and line the bottom and then do the same thing with the top so just gently pull your eyelid up a little bit and really get into the lash the roots of the lashes I'm also going to do a really thin line in the upper lash line but I'm kind of 
more working on not building a line, more like accentuating the roots of my lashes. So once you've done that, we're just going to draw kind of little cat eye effect. I hope you can see this on screen. So I am just going to, with the same liner, I'm going to extend my inner corner in just ever so slightly. And this, weirdly enough, makes your eyes bigger, but it really kind of gives you an intense cat eye effect. So I've drawn it on this side, but I haven't done it on that one. And it requires a little bit of practice and it also requires you to think about kind of what you want the angle to be. But it does make a big difference. And then using my Laura Mercier um, eyebrow definer wax in soft. And I'm using a Sigma small angle brush um, E65. And her eyebrows are super arched. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a little bit lower than my natural eyebrows, just here, just here where like my eyeshadow pretty much touches my eyebrows. And then I'm going to go above, just at the highest point of the brow, so I'm going to go above and then kind of really drop it down. Then for my lashes, I'm going to use YSL Shocking, and with this one, if I want to do two layers, I always wipe it with a tissue first, because it gets way too clumpy otherwise, but if you wipe it with a tissue, the results are just amazing. I love it. So do top and bottom lashes. I'm then going to conceal under my eyes. I'm using my Viteri in A2. I'm going to powder lightly using my Laura Mercier Universal Powder and I'm just using, I'm actually just using an artist brush. Um, this is a brush that I've had longer than any other brush. Um, I actually bought it in an art shop when I was a student um, and I couldn't afford proper um, makeup brushes. And I used to buy um, art shop ones and this has literally lasted forever. I'm then going to use a new product for me. Uh, this is the Dior Skin Nude Tan in a 2. I love the packaging of Dior stuff of course and it is, it's a beautiful um, bronzer. I'm kind of growing, right now I'm kind of going through a phase of not going through completely matte bronzers. Um, I used to always uh, and now this has the tiniest, tiniest bit of shimmer. Nothing uh, like some of the other ones out there, but I'm, I, it comes with this cute little kabuki brush and I'm actually going to use this so you can see like the, the quality of this brush is phenomenal. It is really, really good. And what I'm going to do is we're going to do this giant C essentially. So go to your forehead and then go just below your cheekbone. So we're just contouring the face. As blusher, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Desert Rose in a 15 and my I'm using my Eve Pearl fan brush. And I'm just going to, I'm not really going to go very high, I'm just going to that kind of top edge of the bronzer. Just be really light handed with it. And then I'm also going to use um, MAC Mineralize in Light. Now you don't really think of this as a highlighting product, but this is now lighter than um, my skin tone. So I'm going to use the same brush, just clean it off, and I'm going to put it just at the top of my cheekbone, because I don't want a terribly visible highlight. All I want is just kind of like a little bit of a lighter area. So I'm going to use this for highlighting. Also going to run it here, under where we put the bronzer, and that kind of really accentuates your um, cheekbones. Then for lips, I'm going to use the Cargo Reverse Liner in a 2, 
and I'm just going to kind of do my cupid's bow and then also um, a little bit further. And then I'm going to use um, Dior Linen Liner. And then I'll show you a quick little trick on how to get like um, sheen on the lips when you don't want to use anything glossy. So I'm going to use um, Benefit Highbrow Glow and I'm going to put it here on the middle of the lip. Just like that and I'm going to put my lipstick on top of it. And for my lipstick I'm using NARS uh, Belle Du Jour. And that's it. That's the whole um, look finished. Um, I hope you liked the tutorial and I'll see you again next time. And please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I really, really, really appreciate every single subscriber. Thanks for watching. Bye.